Hi again! Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you have seen any of my other videos, you know that I often do different travel and packing tip videos. So today I'm going to do an actual pack for you for some travel that I have coming up. We booked flights, so me and my husband, from where we live. So we live in Minnesota, but we fly out of Fargo. Um, so we're flying from Fargo to Phoenix, Arizona, and it's only going to cost $100. Both of us round trip. It's insane. And this is through Frontier Airlines. Um, we got one of the flights. It's crazy. It was like $9. One, yeah, $9. <laughs> uh, and then the rest of the flight, I think the other flight was $36. So for two people, $36, two, two people, $9, and then taxes and fees and everything ended up being a total of $100. For both of us. It's just insane. So that's why I love Frontier Airlines. If you know anything about Frontier Airlines, they are a discount airline. They uh, have cheap airline prices. Um, however, they charge you for everything else. So if you're going to be taking a carry-on bag or if you're going to be checking a bag, they are going to charge you for both of those. If you want to select your seat on the plane, they're going to charge you for that. So how we do this is we pay for our airfare and we only bring a personal item, um, which is one of these bags. Both of these will be considered personal items because they are under 18 by 14 by 8 inches. So this one is 18 inches high, 14 inches wide, and 8 inches wide that way. Yes. This one's a little bit smaller than that. It's I think it's like 16 inches by 12 inches by seven and a half or something like that. Um, so this one definitely fits. Um, they both would be great personal item size for Frontier Airlines and same thing for Spirit Airlines and probably some other discount airlines out there as well. So what I'm going to show you today is me packing for this trip. Uh, we are going to Arizona. Uh, we are leaving from Fargo. So we've been experiencing some cold weather in Fargo already. And we're going to be going to Arizona to hopefully get a little bit better weather. It's going to be in the mid-60s, so it's not going to be super hot. Um, and we're only going for three total days. So these two bags, I have done reviews on both these bags, so I'll post the reviews up in the corner here and I will also post those in the description below so you can see more about both these bags. This bag in particular, this is the Lillian Drew. It is the, I think it's the Weekender Tote travel bag. Um, this is the option that I would recommend if you are bringing a laptop. It has the padded laptop compartment in the back. Let me just open that up so you can see it. So this pulled a 15.6 inch laptop and it's padded on both sides. So if you want to bring a laptop, this is the one that I would definitely recommend. If you don't need to bring a laptop, you probably, you know, you don't need a bag that has the laptop compartment, but you could still bring this bag. It has a lot of really great organizational options. It has a lot of pockets and everything in there and it can hold everything for a weekend trip if you pack minimalistically, which is of course what I recommend. This bag has wheels on the bottom, so you can probably fit more things in here. It is a couple inches larger. Um, and then if you don't want to be carrying a bag like this one, this one's a great option to be able to just drag behind you. You can't really see it because it's hidden, but it does have the telescoping handle here, so it's pretty easy to navigate through the airport. And both of these bags are really great as an additional personal item um, because they have the trolley straps. So this one has it here, and this one has has it here, and it zips up and makes a pocket, that's why I can get my hand through. Um, so if you are carrying, like if you're bringing a check bag or uh, carry-on or something, you could bring this as your personal item and put it on top of that luggage. So I'm already dressed in my uh, clothes that I'm going to be wearing to the airport, so I can just show you real quick what I'm going to be wearing. So I just have a gray hoodie, it's like a dark heather gray. Um, I'm going to use this as like anytime I get cold uh, for the whole trip. The reason I like this is because it has a zipper in front so it's easy to get on and off. Um, it has these really awesome pockets. They go all the way down to the bottom of this. So I can fit so much stuff in these and it's no, I know it's not going to fall out because it's very protected on this side. Nothing can fall out of this jacket. Uh, I just have a Beatles t-shirt on, and then I have some leggings. The reason I like these leggings, if you can see, is they have this zip pocket, and I can hold more stuff there. And the reason it's important to have these pockets is because if you are bringing this item on as a personal item, you don't get another personal item. So I couldn't carry like a purse or anything like that. 
Um, I am going to be taking a crossbody purse and I'll be putting it into whichever bag I decide to take. I haven't decided if I'm taking a laptop yet, so that's why I'm kind of showing you these two bags. Um, so my purse is going to have to go into either one of these bags when I board the flight. So let's start with toiletries. So first of all, I kind of laid everything out on my vanity in my bathroom that I'm going to be needing to pack with me. And everything over here on this side is liquids. So these all need to be in a, a quart sized bag that is compliant for 311 um, TSA rules. So let's kind of go through everything. So first of all, I have two face washes that I use every day. Cetaphil face wash, Panoxyl face wash, and my different gel. I have shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Then I have these two little deodorants that I have created. Um, I will link to the video on how to create these. This one's just in an old chapstick tube, and this one is in an actual um, like mini deodorant roll-up tube. So I'll link to that. You can check out that if you want to learn more on how to create those. But they are very small. Like if you look at the size that they are compared to my hand, they are tiny. So they'll take up way less room. Um, we are going somewhere that's going to be dry. So I have a couple lotions. I don't know if I'm going to bring both. I might just bring one of those. Then over here is like makeup and skincare products. So I have a tiny little like sample size moisture surge eye repair cream from Clinique. I have a Clinique repair wear laser focus. I have a Clinique moisture surge. I have tea tree mattifying lotion. I have my Innisfree um, blur primer. Clinique BB cream. This is something that I would wear kind of on a daily basis. It does have, have SPF 30. And then if I want something that has a little more coverage, I go with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. So I want to bring both of those. So next I have my mouthwash, uh, this TheraBreath, and I actually decanted that into this small little uh, mouthwash container. So next I have some small little uh, samples of perfume that I'm going to bring. So these are my two favorite perfumes that I always wear. So I have those for me. This one's for my husband. And then I have this little Tide to go stick. I like to bring that with just in case I spill something on my shirt. Uh, mascara and eyeliner. This is a liquid eyeliner. That's why I have it in the liquid section. Then I have a mini toothpaste that I got from the dentist. And I couldn't find my solid sunscreen stick, so I decided to just bring these um, these little sample packets of sunscreen, just in case we need them. So that's all the liquids, and as you can see, that is not going to fit in a quart size container. So one thing I'm going to be paring down is uh, all of these makeup items, and I have already done that. So I have decanted all of these into this little stackable jar set and label them. So everything I need for all of those items is in here instead. So that'll save me a lot of room. So moving on to things that are not liquids, I just have some hair ties. Um, I have some Q-tips and this one's the one I normally would bring, but I, it's just a short trip. So I'm just gonna bring this smaller one in a tiny little Ziploc bag. Then I have like my uh, body wash puff. I just put it in a Ziploc bag so I can compress it down and if it's wet then it doesn't get everything else wet. I have some uh, non-liquid makeup items. So I have Clinique eyeshadow palette, uh, some Burt's Beeswax, two of the colored Burt's Bees uh, lip colors, a tweezers, and this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores powder foundation. I have three necklaces wrapped around this swab, this like cotton swab. All I do is stick them in here and then that's how I store those. And then like uh, for my rings when I'm not wearing them, I just put those in there as well. I have this tiny little nail file. Um, I have these are basically the same thing. So I'm going to bring either one. I don't know which one yet because this one is much better than this small one. What these are is like a makeup brush that is very travel friendly. This one is the same thing, it just kind of rolls up a little bit differently. 
You just have to twist it and it comes up. But it's much smaller than the other one, so the other one's better. So I'll decide which one I want to take, depending on which one fits. Um, then I have these foldable, uh, like a comb, like a teasing comb that has a rat tail end, which I like to bring. I'm not going to bring both of those, I just kind of want to show you the difference. So these are both wet brushes and they're the foldable, like poppable ones. So this is a normal sized one. It's the same size as my normal brush. Like if you take a look, you can see it's the same size as that. Um, that's the one I'm not going to be bringing. I'm going to be bringing this smaller one. And the cool thing about this one is it has a little mirror here. So if somebody else is in the bathroom and you don't have a mirror, you have a small mirror with that. I'm going to bring one of these razors. Uh, honestly, like they have this little tiny Venus one. I don't think it saves much space uh, unless you take it out of this container because the container is huge. So bring one of those, not both, and then an extra razor blade. And then I will bring my electric toothbrush, the Sonicare toothbrush. Uh, it comes with the charging cable. I have some flossers in here. And then I also have my husband's toothbrush, just kind of keep those all together. And I have this small um, curling iron slash straightener. So it has the curling iron part here. And then if I can show you when it's like this, this part comes apart and that is the straightener. And it's much smaller than a normal one. Now on to actually packing the bag with the clothes and everything else. So here is the bag. So it's the Lily and Drew Weekender tote bag. It's, I do have some packing cubes here. I'm not sure what I'm going to use with those. Just kind of have to go with it and see. But I'll kind of take you through with everything that I'm packing. So I have three like cute tops. Um, right here and then I have a, just kind of a basic t-shirt that I probably would plan to either wear home or just for something comfortable. A pair of shorts, a pair of skinny jeans, my flip-flops, I have uh, like cables that I would need to go with and up here I have a just a power bank. I have sunglasses, um, that is my small travel pillow that I'll be bringing. Um, a book and just some other necessities here like I have a little thing of pills and a little thing of tissues, a little coin purse right there, and there's my small crossbody. And here's my toiletries bag, the toothbrush, the curling iron, and this is um, like a hair turban to dry my hair. And the sneakers that I'll be wearing are there. Go back over here, so I have uh, one workout outfit right here, so I have just a shirt, some leggings, like capri leggings, socks, sports bra and underwear and then here I have like under things so I have socks underwear and a bra um, right there pajamas I am not sure which swimming suit I'm going to be taking but I either have this option with a cover-up or I have that option with some shorts um, there's just a laundry bag all right so let's figure out how to pack this I'm just going to fold those up good, put that in one side of the bag, like that. Take the shorts, fold them approximately the same size, put that right on top. Fold this t-shirt up. Oops. 
So I have everything right here on one side so far. Take these other three shirts that were right on top of that. I have my pajamas here. So I need a good place for the toiletry bag because I'm going to need to get this out uh, for security sometimes, even though I have. So I think I will just leave room on the top and just kind of lay it on top. So I'm going to fill up both sides here. I'm going to take my toothbrush, put that in the bottom. All right, so I just have this little container full of some of those little things. I'm going to put that in the bottom. Uh, my curling iron, put that in the bottom. I'll take my workout clothes. And my bra. Okay, so I'll show you what I have so far. Still lots of room left. Put this turban hair thingy in there. <laughs> uh, the underwear and socks. I'm gonna put these in one of the little pockets that are in this bag. I just put my flip-flops inside of each other like that to kind of hold, hold their shape a little bit. They're not real floppy flip-flops. I'm going to close that. So it's not too huge. The rest of the stuff I'm going to try to get here in this front panel. I have the charger. Slip that in one of those pockets. I have my sunglasses in a case. Slip that in one of those pockets. Small crossbody purse. I'll just put this little coin purse inside of that. I'm taking the tags off of this because I was going to do another video about that. This I'll probably just end up sliding right in the front of that. Okay. So I decided to get this little makeup bag. It's just a Clinique makeup bag I got free when I ordered some stuff. I'm going to put all of these cables, the noise machine, and the little USB plug in there. They should fit pretty well just to kind of keep these organized. Otherwise, I probably could have put this in one of the, like, um, I probably could have put those cables inside one of those other pockets. I just already have it full of stuff. So I'll put it there, and it fits really nice right there. Okay. My little laundry bag. Um, so just when I have dirty clothes, I'll put them in here. So for now, I'm just going to put it in this front pocket. It's done. Okay. This bag is pretty full at this point. I still have my book that I wanted to bring with. I'll just put this in the side pocket. All right. That's everything. This bag is pretty heavy <laughs> with all this stuff in it. But it does fit all of that stuff. So I want to show you a different option. Now this is with uh, different bags. One has wheels in the bottom, so it's a rolly bag. 
So one thing that didn't fit in the last bag was my pillow. So I took my pillow and just rolled it up and put this headband around it just to kind of compress it. This is a memory foam pillow, so it compresses quite a lot. All right, so what I'm doing with this bag, and here's Chica to say hi in this video. But with this bag, so it has the bars here because it has the telescoping handle. So I put some things in between those bars. So I have the memory bank, I have this little case with a bunch of little stuff in it. Um, I have this little container with uh, just my cables and everything. And this is my toothbrush. And then with this pack, I put everything into uh, all of my clothes into packing cubes. Well, not all of them, but most of them. So I have this long, skinny packing cube. So in here I put all of my shirts and my workout clothes. So I'm just going to put this in between this bar here on the edge. And then this packing cube has everything else in it. Uh, pajamas, um, socks and underwear, sports bra, swimsuit, all of that. So this one is going to go right there. Then I'm going to take these sandals, my flip-flops here, I'm going to put them on the side of that. And there's some extra space here, so I'm going to take my laundry bag, shove that in right there. I have my sunglasses, I'll put them in between these two packing cubes. Alright, so right here I'm going to save this space for my toiletry bag, because I want it on top so I can easily access it. Um, I do have TSA pre-check, so I shouldn't have to take it out of my bag for security, but oftentimes they make you anyway. You never know. These I'm actually going to turn the long way there. My pillow, I'm just going to squeeze into this little spot here, and my shorts are going to go across everything. And then in the front pocket here, I'll put my book, some tissues, and my crossbody purse. So thanks for watching and I hope this video helped you with some different packing tips uh, or different options that you have for packing minimalistically and uh, safe travels.